about Tony Romo, you know, the team saying they want to trade him, and he wants to play against the Cowboys, it's crazy, now what I'm thinking is, he's 37, you know, 19.4 million, cash space, that's how much he's taking up, mm, multiple back surgeries, one that gave away to Dak Prescott. All of this has to go into consideration. When it does, it's a risky investment. If it's me, probably trading up to Denver. The Texans. No, this is probably where he wants to go. Denver. Texans. And the AFC. That's pretty much about it. You know, those are the best teams that have an amazing defense, and their only missing link is a quarterback because the Texans they have DeAndre Hopkins. It's just so so many people in that. If DeAndre Hopkins, Will Fuller, Jalen Strong, Lamar Miller, the running back they signed this last offseason, Broncos, Mary Thomas, Emmanuel Sanders, C.J. Anderson, with that crazy defense, they didn't make it to the playoffs. Or the Chiefs probably replaced Alex Smith because they re-signed Chase Daniels. They signed Chase Daniels to a contract, 21, $21 million, $12 million guaranteed. And he's better than both of them. With Tyreek Hill, Jeremy Macklin, and that defense. So I think, <laughs> I think that team could be really good. I think you go out. And the AFC, I don't know. I think the AFC, that's Brady's. That seems like that is never a toss-up. You know, it's more like LeBron. Man. He's the LeBron of the NFL. You go to the AFC, pretty much you know it's his team. Because 11 out of the past 12 AFC teams that went to the Super Bowl, it was either Tom Brady, <laughs> Peyton Manning, he retired. Roethlisberger, who's considering retirement, and the one person who wasn't, then three, Joe Flacco. So, that's, that's what I think is going to have to happen with Tony Romo.
know I support y'all always. Thank you, boy. Take three. <laughs> Hello, I'm Cedric Boyd, and uh, I have a daughter that's in STI, self 40. What's up, boy? This is Hi, I'm a parent of um, my child that attends the STI self 40. To be your own boss and be an entrepreneur like us. I got a male mentoring account for young men. Male mentoring account for young men. And that is Hi, my name is Ron Kurd and uh, I'm here to talk about STI 740. Hi, my name is Candice Renee. STI 740 is a platform that I only dreamt about as a child. And then you have your child running around. Oh my God. Hi, my name is Aliyah Muhammad. What I like about STI 740 is it's a really open place where you can be yourself. It teaches you a lot of things. It teaches you confidence. My name is Brother Sagan and Kirk, and one thing that I love about STI 740 is that it opens your mind to all the brilliant opportunities that there is in your community. You know, a lot of times people uh, are just blind to it. They don't know how to um, focus on their craft. They don't know what venues and what avenues to broadcast their talent. And that's what we focus on at STI 740. Um, hello, my name is Isaac Cherry, and uh, one thing that I like about STI 740 is how it allows the youth to do various things that they wouldn't be able to do and it keeps them doing positive things instead of negative things. It allows them to control the media that controls people's minds.